Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Mr. Stevie J893 and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to cast local files from your hard drive or your desktop onto your TV using Chromecast. So let's get started. Alright, so as I said, I'm going to be showing you how to cast local files from an external hard drive or from your desktop that you know files that you may have stored on your computer or hard drive I'm going to be showing you how to cast those onto your TV using Chromecast I know uh, out of the box it says that it can't do that but there is a way that it can and I'm going to show you how to do that but before I do it's two quick things that I wanted to address regarding the Chrome the uh, Chromecast first of all the uh, issue with Netflix uh, I bought mine yesterday uh, August 23rd and I bought it from Best Buy and one of the concerns was whether or not the Netflix uh, subscription still came with it, the three month free Netflix subscription. Boy, that's a tongue twister. Anyway, it did come with it. Uh, there was a code on my receipt, and the code was also emailed to me. I went ahead, to, uh, went to the uh, Netflix website, followed the instructions, and as soon as I did, I got my free three month subscription so I have been watching movies on that I don't know if it depends on where you purchase the Chromecast from I purchased mine from Best Buy they actually had some in store uh, but I know for a fact that Amazon has a blurb on their website uh, regarding the Chromecast and it says that the subscription has ended that um, Netflix is no longer offering it but again like I said I do have it so uh, you got any got any of you guys that already have it? Let me know uh, if you what, if you guys actually have it or how things worked out for you. Uh, also, another thing that I want to talk about before I get into showing you how to cast these videos is the location. Um, most people you see in their Chromecast videos, they have the Chromecast hooked up to the back of their TV, and they're running it um, with the the power running to a USB port on the back of their TV. Uh, I tried to do that yesterday. If you saw my Chromecast video, you'll see that I had it hooked up to the back of my TV, and that works fine. It was getting power. The only issue for me is I was not able to take advantage of my Blu-ray player's 5.1 surround sound. So I had an idea. Uh, the back of my Blu-ray player had an HD, has an HDMI port, and the front of it has a USB port. So I figured if I would hook it up to the back of it, and run the power around to the front to the USB port uh, I figured I'd be able to get some use out of my surround sound video I tried it and it actually worked and I'll show you what that looks like before we get started alright so as you can see here's my blu-ray player and you can already see on the front the uh, USB cord running around to the back of the uh, running out of it right here going around to the back to the Chromecast and the Chromecast is right here sticking out of the back so you guys that have a Chromecast and a Blu-ray player uh, you can do this if you don't want to hook it up to your TV and you do want to take advantage of that uh, sweet surround sound so uh, that's that's a option that you can use alright so let's get into showing you how to cast these videos alright so as we as I was saying before uh, when you first purchase the Chromecast and you read up about it you see that there is no functionality supposedly for casting local videos and things um, that you have on your computer or an external hard drive you see that there's no functionality for that well there actually is and it's really simple alright so what you the first thing you want to do is you need to go to the Chrome store or the Chrome, yeah the Chrome web store right here and what you're gonna do is right here type file manager and when you hit enter these are your results now what you want to do is you want to scroll down to you get this one right here and you can already see it's green showing that it's installed but when you first see it it will look like uh, this it'll be blue so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and install it and what's going to happen is once you install it you're going to get it up here in, in the corner that's your uh, extension 
All right, the next thing you want to do is you want to go into your settings and enable it. Now, the way you go about doing it, I already have the screen open, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to back out of it and walk you through how to get here. All right, so what you want to do is you want to open up a new browser window, scroll, scroll down the settings. click extensions and it shows all your extensions alright and you'll see your file manager right here what you want to do is you want to click this tab that says allow access to file URLs you want to click that and you also want to make sure over here that it's enabled alright and then once you do that you're ready to start casting now like I said you're gonna see the the uh, the icon up here when you click on it this window is going to pop up and it says please enable allow access file URLs and tools extensions we've already done that and then it says once you've done this you can go to file and view them view them in a much more useful manner manner and it tells you how to do it for both Macs and Windows so the easiest thing to do is just highlight this and copy it and then paste it in the window and now what it does is it shows you the drives in your computer now what you want to do here is go into parent directory and then you scroll down to volumes and now you see your there's your computer hard drive there's my computer hard drive as well as my uh, external hard drive so say for instance if I wanted to look at a video that was on my external hard drive uh, and you, when you click on that it shows you all of the files that are in there I can just open this up uh, these are video projects that I've worked on uh, and now wait before I even do that the way you want to get this to cast up to your TV is you go back in here and you see the cast button is actually not highlighted you click it and it asks you do you want to cast it or it tells you you can cast it to your Chromecast so we're gonna do that and now if you look you notice on the computer screen it's showing you my hard drive or the information that's on there when you look up on the TV, it's kind of hard to see. All right, well, anyway, you see that it's now on the uh, TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to play a video. Again, like I said, this is coming from my hard drive. All right, so you see it's playing there. It's a video of my son actually rehearsing for a performance that he had. All right, so now we're back to uh, the hard drive. So let's go back and see uh, what's on the. If I want to play something on the desktop, do one from the desktop. You just go into your whatever you've named your uh, desktop folder or your uh, actual computer, and you go into desktop. And now you see, uh, say for instance, if I wanted to cast this particular picture. A picture of me and the boys and there it is up on the screen all right go back and do another one and last we got a 
video again of my son actually performing. stop it and you come on back here hope you guys enjoyed it and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and thanks for watching